Well, I figured before I get into this, I may as well take you guys along. Sometimes things like this happen in my life and I just dig into it and uh, I don't want to bother with taking video and all those things, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, we have a very strange smell in our house. It smells, it's like it's coming from the, the main floor to the first floor, the lowest floor. Um, the whole area just smells. It seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. It smells like a, it smells like a sewer pipe almost, but it, it's just really bad. And we have gone through everything inside the house. I've gone through the heating vents. I've gone through the the plumbing, I've looked on the vents on the roof, I've looked at, you know, I just cannot figure out where this smell is coming from. So I have one last Hail Mary before I call a plumber to run a camera through all of our sewer pipes and find out if there's a leak somewhere under, under the house. I've got a crawl space here that I'm gonna try to look in. I've never been in here since we moved in. Uh, I've seen the, the entrance here, but I've never actually actually gotten in here. I, I have a, I'm assuming it's gonna be nasty. I'm hoping there's not like a dead animal or something under here or a pipe broken. This could be the, where, it's, where it's leaking at or something's leaking and, and it's just, you know, coming up through the floor in there. So, I'll show you where I'm at. <laughs> eh, it's not what I wanted to do this evening, but uh, I've got to figure this out. So, I've taken off a couple stairs here in order to get to this door. I don't think I need to take off those stairs, but we'll see on the deck outside here. So, this whole portion of our house... Uh, it's a there's a cinder block footing that comes up here. It's I got brick on the front obviously it overhangs a little bit um, And then inside here is our this is our, our great room or living room or whatever It's this this room, you know on the lowest level of the house, but underneath here. There's some kind of an open space there There has to be there's an access to it And so it's possible an animal got in there and died um, Or there's a pipe somewhere. I don't I don't see where there would be any pipes underneath this part of the house but there's possible that <clears throat> some kind of a pipe or maybe something's leaking up further in the house and it's coming out under here, underneath the, the foundation or underground, you know, sewer line or something. I don't know. So here we are. Let's, let's dig in. I did find this gutter. It's supposed to connect up there. So at least we got that. For us. Let's get that out of the way. I don't have a very good sense of smell, but it seems to me like I'm starting to smell that awful smell, even as I start to get this open. I wonder if something is in here. I obviously, I'm definitely gonna need to replace this. find an animal in here that's alive I guess. I'm gonna get a ladder. I'm gonna try this is a six foot ladder. I bet you that's I bet you that's eight feet. What did you do to our deck dad? Yeah I know it sucks but you gonna put it back? Oh I hope so. You're gonna go in there? Oh my gosh it doesn't even touch the floor. Hang on it's gonna fall over you guys, this is where the smell's coming from. I can smell it in there. Oh you let me get It's a whole basement. Video. We have a basement. And there's something dead in it. Alright. That if you fall and like I have to call 911 because you died in there. If I fall, I won't be able to get back out. Dad? Okay. You're going in a hole. Yeah. I can't believe this. Bye. Bye. See you guys. never. Oh my gosh. What? Is it really bad? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is it? Dad, do you want like a face mask? I want a full respirator is what I want. Okay. It's 
like. <sighs> Go find your dead animal, Dad. <laughs> I need to get over there. Thing is, though, is I don't see anything. Let me see that. I don't see, I don't see anything other than the insulation came off all this, this ducting and it's, it's, uh, it's leaking, it's dripping, it's condensating because of the cold air. So this really needs to be re-insulated. At least I found some problems that need to be fixed, I guess. But it smells bad down here. What is that? There's some strange, like, albino spiders down here. Hey, here's a Coke can from the 70s. There's a what? A Coke can from the 70s. Wait, I see it. I want to where is it? Shine a light on it. I'm waiting for an animal to jump out at me or something. Yeah, shine a light on the... Hang on, honey. Well, I'm not, I, I still, I smell the smell down here. And I'm noticing all this, this duct work, condensating, some of it, see some yellow kind of drips here. It could just be from the dirt on the duct work or whatever, but it almost looks like there's more condensation than there should be, even on a cold air conditioned duct in a humid space. I don't know, it could just be that. And obviously, this, this all needs to be redone. What's happened is you've got, they when they did the insulation, they wrapped it and then they just put these little wire wires around it, but they've just rusted in this humid space. So they're all just coming apart. Just to make sure there's nothing coming out of the inside of these pipes. Like maybe there's a sewer pipe broken somewhere in the floor of the house that runs, you know, maybe in the, in the, concrete alongside of this or something somehow you know broken sewer pipe found its way into the heating duct or something and there's actually sewer water in here i, I just want to make sure of that so i'm going to disconnect this one and then i'll just plug it off when i'm done so i'm going to take some of this insulation out of here and then uh see what's see what's inside maybe i can clean the duct out a little bit with a vacuum or something anyway all right, well, I knocked that one down. Interestingly, there's no screws in any of this ductwork. It's just all taped together. And, I don't know, I guess it's been working all right for 50 years, so. Some good tape. Okay, moment of truth. I can't see in there. Kind of strange sarcophagus of a spider is that. I don't understand what happened to these these poor spiders. <laughs> oh man. There's water in there. There's water in that pipe. There's like there's stinky water in there. Where's that coming from? I feared that uh, could happen. I don't know what it is. I don't know where that water's coming from. The next thing I gotta do is figure out where it's coming from. That can't all just be condensation. It really shouldn't be condensating on the inside because the air coming out of the air conditioner is generally dry. It's condensating on the outside because of the cold air, but it's filled with water. I hope it's not sewer water in there. Oh boy. Huh. All right, we got a bigger light down here. And I'm going to try something. This looks like kind of a low spot in the duct. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of it. I can find a flat spot to put 
Kind of a low spot right here. It's a lot of water. Where is all that water coming from? This is interesting. Pepsi can in there, Duckworth. 1973. <laughs> Still in good condition. I don't know, the pipes could be filled all the way throughout the house. The pipe's pretty much, you know, it all emptied out. It wasn't that much water. I mean, it was bucket filled about that much, and then back here, a little bit in that bucket, too. Uh, I drilled four holes, so one up by the house there, one uh, back here, one right at that joint, and then one back here somewhere. Um, and that drained out pretty quick. So this does seem to be the lowest section of the, the ductwork. I mean, all that water seems to have run all this way. I don't know if it's still coming in or I'm assuming it is. But just to give you an idea, this uh, space down here is pretty crazy. It's, that's the access. It's just this little hole that I, I saw a little board looked like it could come off, you know, when we, we, were, when we were buying the house, but Assume that it went to a really small crawl space. That's a six foot ladder right there. So I would say these are 10 foot, nine foot, 10 foot ceilings in here. Um, this is actually the, the base to our uh, chimney. So we got that big, big chimney. Um, this is the, the footing for that all down under here. So you can see the footings for the house. It actually looks pretty good down here. It looks a little bit moist. Um, there's some cracking and stuff like that on some of the mortar joints, you know, which is expected as 50 years old. But overall, it's pretty good. Uh, looks like this, this is a little wet here, and this is kind of the ground level. So you can kind of see where the ground level is. And we actually do have some shifting of a couple of the blocks right here. And that's probably from frost heave. So we have a downspout right outside the house there that is broken. So it's pour water right next to the house. And that, that gets right next to the house and freezes and it pushes, expands and pushes against the house, pops those blocks out. So uh, that can be fixed. Uh, so it's something we'll have to address, some cracks and things like that. We can, we can fill in around these and do some different things to keep spiders and animals and other things out of here, mice and stuff. Um, We'll have to get this duct fixed so all the the ducting down here i'm going to tear all this out and we'll put in six inch insulated flex across here so that'll be all uh, new and fresh get some new pieces of insulation in the ceiling where anything's missing in here and that should take care of that um, might even be nice to put a vapor barrier on here i don't know if that's the right thing to do or not maybe put a piece of plastic um, along this whole ceiling, but, but that'll all have to wait until I can figure out what is happening with this pipe. What is, where is that water coming from? I got a lot of work ahead of me. That's fine. Um, we moved in here. I knew that these were going to be some of the things that we were going to deal with. It's a 50 year old house. Uh, very strange house, a lot of different levels, a lot of different, uh, connections to furnaces, to water heaters, a lot of, a lot of mechanical stuff that we're going to have to deal with. So I've got some work ahead of me. Um, on, a, on, a, on a good note, I found a entire basement underneath my house that I had no idea existed. <laughs> so that'd be cool. Maybe I can use that. Um, it'd be cool to clean that up and seal it all up down there, you know, and, and maybe put a, you know, a floor in there or even put pea gravel or something down there and use it for something. I don't know what. Uh, maybe there's a future project <laughs> down there. The kids are already, already excited. They want to build a, a little, you know, hideout down there and all this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, first, I need to fix the, the drain problems here. So 
uh, there'll be some future videos. Uh, I may or may not have a plumber come out and verify what I have found. Let me know what you guys think. Any suggestions, any advice, I'll take it. I'm gonna post this video as quick as I can and then uh, let you guys comment on things. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of fun, never, never a dull moment. And uh, I've got some other repairs and some other things that have gone wrong that I haven't even, I videotaped, but I haven't shown you guys yet. And so uh, we'll, we'll get the video put together at some point and, and show you guys. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, at least uh, the secret room under the house, pretty fun. Uh, plumbing problems, not so much fun. So uh, we get a little bit of both today, I guess. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video. Share, of course, share the video with others if you think they'll enjoy or learn something or maybe can help me out. And uh, of course, subscribe if this is your first time here. I'd love to have you tag along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.